Yeah. Right, right. As soon as they do, we'll All discuss right. it. <laughs> well, now we're going to shift our conversation over to climate change because it's yeah. something you know that's often discussed in politics and news and around tables a lot. Yeah. But what does it actually mean for the state of Maine? Ryan Brenton's going to take a look at this topic all week long and joins us now with more. Yeah, I've wanted to do something like this for a while, guys, because there's just so much out there. I feel like we're bombarded with information and stats here and there. But let's put it all together and look at what climate change really means for Maine beyond the politics and beyond the debate where the science guides us. So each morning this week right here in the morning report we'll take one topic and break it down we'll start with the basics today how maine is warming globally the average temperature has gone up about 1.8 degrees fahrenheit since the late 1800s but maine is outpacing that warming by about three since 1895. everyone remembers the brutal winter of 2015 that february the coldest on record in portland that's a big deal but since that brutal cold we've had six record warm months may july august september october and december all breaking previous records and in the last decade february 2015 is the only month to break a cold record nine total warm ones set there have always been swings between hot and cold weather in a stable climate these would balance out over time but you have to go back to the 1960s and 70s to find a time when new cold records outnumbered warm ones and it's not just the temperature it's the humidity too more humid nights in the summer mean it's harder to cool down perhaps why many mainers say ac isn't just a luxury it's become a necessity in the summer and obviously this is a trend that we're trending warmer with time it doesn't mean we're not going to have cold outbreaks and we're not going to have snow but when you balance it all out we are leaning warmer here in Maine following the global trend. Now tomorrow guys, we're gonna look at sea level rise, which I actually think is one of the more concerning aspects for us here in Maine, given how much coastal development we have. So. Thanks, Thanks for breaking sir. that down, Ryan.